Mm-hmm. Did you see the new the new saga coming out? I did Furiosa. Yes. Mm-hmm. What do you think? I like that. You do? Okay. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I, think, I thought about you when I saw the preview. Yeah, I was yeah. like, huh. I wonder if I liked it or not. Uh, yeah, I love that. I think that uh, I think they did that the right way. They introduced Furiosa. And even if they didn't introduce her in a Mad Max film, then that's fine. I would have more of an issue if they like, Mad Max movie. Okay, Mad Max is a woman now. Like, that's okay. Be like, what the fuck so has she been known before this or is this like the i know of i don't think a new character i don't think mad max has i think mad max is like its source material is the movie i think no uh that's uh what's his name mel gibson, uh, mel gibson was the original then they mm-hmm. came out with one a few years ago yeah, right yeah. like two they came out with back to back i don't think so i think it's uh, just, the, just one, the one and then the other one's coming out wasteland yeah. is the one that's coming okay. out the one that came out before is fury road okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and then this one dude <laughs> dude it's chris hemsworth <laughs> He looks awesome. Dude, he looks awesome, dude. I, dude, Damn, dude this, whatever accent he's doing, dude. Like, so it's so, okay. We're, we're Australian. I think he's trying to do a little Australian accent. Dude, I don't know. Which, by the way, is I don't know if well, it's Australian. Well, by bro. the way, which is extra. He's Australian. He's Australian. So it would be extra dope if he did do that because Mel Gibson is Australian. Yes. So that, the original one actually is. That Australian. is true. I actually think. I think. Um, dude, he was. Uh, let me see here. Dude, uh, so so we're watching Kong. Of Zilla vs. Kong, which I'm telling you, best fight scenes I've ever seen in a movie. Like it's I saw some clips from. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, uh, look pretty sick. Um, I think his name's George Miller. And, right and, and then the storylines, honestly, like like the like the dialogue, they didn't spend too much time here, 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 or like yeah. skip over shit. Like it was perfect. But anyways, yeah. uh, I saw the preview and I'm like, is that Chris Hemsworth? And I said, no, nah, that it, it, it yeah. almost it, it almost looks like someone who's trying to be Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> and then you hear him talk, and it's like, oh yeah, that's definitely not him. Yeah. And then. There was like one laugh he did in the preview where I was like, okay, that's Chris that's Emsworth. Him. So George but, George Miller, who did the movie, the original, and did the, uh, remake. the remake, and uh, is doing this one, okay. is 79, so he's been around for a long time. Holy shit. Uh, he's from Australia. So, I mean, okay. that, is, that is really cool. See, I mean, I'm, I'm really kind of even for it in that way. It's because Australia doesn't have a ton of, like, representation. Action, yeah. Like, oh, action, action movies. Franchises that came from there. Like this is a through and through yeah, crocodile Australia. done. So even if <laughs> that might be American, anyways. <laughs> even if the main character isn't um, uh, uh, Australian, I think it's cool. Like he seems yeah. like he's going to be the main bad guy, and hopefully he does lean into that Australian thing because uh, of that. Be cool. what, what do they have? Mad Max and then a surfing. Was that one surfing movie? Like a surfing action? That's not that blue wave. Breakpoint. Breakpoint. Yeah, is that it? Is, is Point that, Break rather? I'm sorry. Point Break. Is that one Australian? The original. I don't I think thought maybe so. that was. So I don't I, think so. Yeah, Patrick Swayze and but maybe not. Uh, I don't know. Uh, That's all. Keanu Reeves. True. I'm yeah. an idiot. Well, uh, I mean, but it could be. I mean, I'm not. They did do the remake. I forgot they did a remake of Point Break. Yeah. I did not watch that dog shit. Fuck no. uh, but maybe it was good. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so this is cool. And I definitely, I love the casting of uh, Chris Hensworth. I think that's going to be really cool. Maybe. He's going to ham it up. Like, that is a, and that's a show. That's a movie where just the universe, you can have a lot of fun. It's over the top. Like the characters are just, they look fucking insane out of their mind. You watch uh, Fury Road? Did you watch that? No, again, I, I've, okay. no, I, I regrettably, it's like with Dune, I had this weird oh, disconnect so with uh, post apocalyptic times. Really? I have this weird issue with why is it always a desert? Why is everything covered in sand? <laughs> Like, yeah. like what happened to vegetation? What happened there? Is it just atomic? Again, like Book of Eli had a story behind it. Like the the yeah. world got went crazy. They had the 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 atomic bombs. Mm-hmm. Boom. Uh the one with uh, the road with Vigo Morganson was was a book. Yeah, that's wild. That dude, that's one of the saddest movies. The way he had to oh my god, I could never kill my kid, but he had to. Yeah. Um and uh Fuck. Also, I think just last week you said if you turn to a zombie, you definitely hey, no boy, boy, zombies <laughs> different. But yeah, like the situations, I, right? I don't know the story. I remember watching the Mad Max one with Bell Gibson as a kid. Okay. So I, I don't know. I've always been weird about remakes, and then, but I again, I know that I'm in the wrong here. Oh, it's, this and, is like, and I don't know if it would be. It might be considered a remake, but it's like more of like it's a completely different story. They're not really? redoing the same story. It's the same character, but he like this is completely new characters that he's fighting. He's fighting with, um, and then this is another thing. So I I, I see what you're saying, but I, I like when there's that lore as well. But there is also something kind of interesting in like in reality as a regular person, if shit just went shit like that, like yeah. like that, you probably won't be privy to like all the reasons as to like what led to it. Especially if you're like in Australia, for example, you're yeah. in the middle of the fucking ocean. Oh yeah, they are yeah. in Australia, so, so there's like, the desert there. There's that, there's yeah, okay, the outback, okay, then, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then also, um, just like I said, it, just to consider like from a normal person's perspective, you might not know the ins and outs of like how we got to this point. And then even on top of that, Mad Max is actually like 
decently far into the future away from shit. So it's mm -hmm. like now imagine like you're a generation, two generations mm -hmm. removed from whatever happened that, that. Was in that position. Yeah. So it almost, in, I, I feel you because I do like that. But at the same time, I also like the feeling of like, I'm dropped in this place with these characters. And I'm figuring we it really out. really don't know what the fuck is going on. We have our own struggle. Like in, in Mad Max, it's Morton Joe that's coming to get all of his. Oh, you didn't see what he did now. But either way, I'll give you the, the real quick. So he there's this dude. He runs this area uh, that has water. So water is obviously very valuable. Um, and he controls it. And he has a bunch of women that he just impregnates, basically. Because okay. I mean, that's what you do when you're a fucking warlord or whatever. So the, the story of Mad Max Fury Road is... Uh, Charlize Theron's character, that's who plays her, right? I think. I'm pretty sure yeah, Charlize Theron Yes, yes, yes. So yes. it's her character smuggling them out um, and like trying to get them to safety. And then she's them. his daughter. Dude, uh, no. And I think Clinical that by, twist. Uh, maybe in the next movie, maybe that is what it is. But um, it, almost the entire movie is done like in this giant fucking caravan uh car chase scene it really is incredible like, yeah, yeah it, like, yeah. like, like and, and that's the thing it, yeah yeah so like i just i don't know man again i'm in the wrong here i should give it the, it's, it's well, really, I, you'll like it. I, I i'm always like yeah. the the raw raw tough movies i'm always kind of like how much is overdone but again again yeah, yeah. that's that's me being stupid and but i get that is, and i get that but this is that. also not even I just like that. tough it's aware you know right what I mean? it's, yeah. it's self-aware yeah. I, I need to watch it. I, I, would again, love, I love like it. Book of Eli. I thought that was a wonderful, like honestly, so well written. Everything through, through finding out, spoiler alert, it's an old movie, but it's find out he's blind, oh, which yeah. you kind of can start to like when it clicks, you're like, oh my God, how did I not put I this forgot together? You didn't even know that. This beginning. together, this together. And then the fact that it's like, yes, this is the whole like basis of like the religion where it's like, this guy is only wanting the book because he knows he can control the world mm. if he gets his hands on this book. Now, again, what he presumes to be the world, and then you have Denzel, who's obviously protecting that through God mm -hmm. being spoken to, and then gets it to uh, you know, the, the sanctity, the, the it being safe. Yeah. And then you see every book of religion mm -hmm. is kind of in the same spot. And it's like, just every, all the way they, they tied it together, I liked it. So that's where it's like, yeah, I get, I would like Mad Max. Yeah, I got it. I got it. And if then I, Dune, if, if I, I got to watch it. Two, I would take Mad Max over over Dune. Uh, no, over Book of Eli. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, even though I, 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 it doesn't have to be either or. But I'm just saying, I think you would like it because it is of that quality. Uh, there is less clarity as far as like why the world is the way it is. Um, but that's almost like really not important because you're so wrapped up in what the struggle is, which is literally you're a part of this group that's trying to smuggle these people out. Yeah. And then the world's so cool. You have like these fucking these what they're called sick boys, and because they're made through like fucking incest and shit like that, they're just they're fucked up uh, and this is like his henchman or whatever you want to call it um and uh they actually, the have to, him riding on the they actually have to like... they actually have to capture people so that's how mad max comes in play he's what's called a blood bag for one and of them mel gibson doesn't speak in his right is that the one where like he dropped like like he has like only a couple he doesn't lines talk a lot but i think he speaks but yeah, yeah i don't think uh, yeah, he didn't talk a lot no yeah, okay. yeah so i mean same thing with this movie honestly uh tom hardy doesn't talk much it is a lot of like him just kicking I ass and tom like, hardy oh, and i fucking love tom hardy he's great at it great in it yeah uh, and charlie Theron's great that's why I, I think they did that right you know they introduced that character if you want him to be a part of the mad max universe this female character you introduced him in a mad max film she was a badass in the film she's super fucking cool and uh so now one people organically want to see more of this character so now it's not now she has her own movie and it's not this force-fed like bullshit like we yeah. already know she, we already believe she's actually a fucking badass cool. i don't like that it's an origin story i will say that but i think it's gonna be cool well story. what they're saying it's gonna be a new saga so should there should be what two three films three probably yeah maybe i'm just saying i'm i don't love prequels just because i don't love to like that i already know that, that person's gonna get through the film and i that, get that yeah but i like the story building me too so, I, like, I mean so I, if I'm you sure know like there's it. gonna be more than like i i get like again yeah. fellowship i i understood like this is going to be like you again i was a kid so but like i'm explaining to people like that's going to be more boring like you mm -hmm. have to set up a story so i get that uh like jurassic yeah. when they did the new jurassic world series i think hobbit would be a better example right oh yeah Hob yeah. yeah yeah so it's like you already knew bilbo was gonna live yeah you already know all this and it's like yeah. um but Which i like that too. yeah that's what i'm saying i like it 
but I think that is a, that's just a negative for me. I but, do, yeah. But, yeah, but yeah. I, I do I still like it. it. Yeah, I do still like it. Like I, uh, I went back and I think I might have talked to you about this. I watched The Hobbit recently with my daughter, and I was like, dude, I was way too hard on these movies. These movies are fucking badass. They're really good. Yeah, when they first came out, I was like, I, I love Lord of the Rings. And I was like, this is and eh, not you Lord can't of the Rings. Compare not the Rings. I, I think you almost can. Now that now re-watching it and re-watching Lord of the Rings, which I would watch anyways. Those movies were really, really fucking good, man. Really Dude, good. fantastic. The, the yeah. Hobbits were good. The yeah. Hobbit almost felt like the book were being rushed a little bit. You mm. get the book people where the white orc in the book, the white orc is referenced and it is referenced as a foe, but it's not followed. Like he's not like how he was in the movies, Very but sure, obviously yeah. Hollywood has to Hollywood. You have to give this person. Yeah. Um, I thought that they did a great job in, in like giving homage to everything. Um, just the Hobbit, where I was disappointed. The Hobbit, being someone who loves IMAX and Peter Jackson, killed it. Fucking killed it with Lord of the Rings, the trilogy, with how they did the orcs and just the trees, everything, all the special effects. Yeah. Killed it in King Kong, mm -hmm. and then comes out telling us he's using groundbreaking technology. He's going to change the game completely. And then you come out in our dwarfs and everything looked fucking worse than ever. Like it was like the, I, I didn't care for how much CGI the, 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 the part, the makeup was looking worse. It just looked more fake and fairy tale than, yeah. th than Lord of the Rings did, which maybe that's what they went for. Yeah. But that was my biggest, like, I was just like, eh. I think that's fair. Like some of the process, there's definitely like, for example, when yeah, Legolas is like jumping around on the barrels um and when the, the orcs invade that yeah elf count like that looks so fake it looks so fake which terrible. his part in the fucking return of the king was came out what 2000 and like eight yeah uh maybe even before that that where he went up the fucking the elephant and mm -hmm. then killed everyone then came all down and slid down the, that looked better yeah than the hobbit did than that yeah. than that than that scene so, scene, yeah. so that like that barrel scene reminded me like the, how the ghost looked and, and the, like when you play it back and return the king, you're like, ooh, those ghosts look bad. But yeah, yeah but it's like okay. uh, Toby Maguire Spider Man. <laughs> oh. Whenever he's swinging, it should look like a fucking cut scene for a video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. But yeah, movies came a long way. Yeah. But, yeah um, but no, but he was know. doing a lot back then, to your point. So I mean, he was yeah. making a lot with little and, uh, uh, but yeah, either way, the, the Hobbit was that's badass. Um, definitely check out Mad Max. Yeah, we'll Shit is cool. I'm excited for uh, three, Fury. Three Body is what it's called. Uh, three body problem. Yep. Yeah, three, three body, body problem. problem. Thank you. You've actually helped me learn that. I was calling it three person problem <laughs> for so fucking long, dude. Or three. I, I was like three person, three people. 